everyone, welcome to my channel, Let's Talk About It Media 21. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and please hit the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you will be the first one to see it. No, all comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only, where we discuss celebrity news, celebrity gossip, what's going on on IG and Google, and what's the hot topic for the day or the week. Fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships, and research. Fair use is use permitted by a copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Don't forget to like to comment, but also be kind and also turn on the notification bell that way every time I upload a video you'll be the first one to see it so let's get into it really sad moment for Tristan Thompson he lost his mother a few days ago I want to say maybe three three days ago four days ago and of course Chloe and Tristan flew to Toronto to be by his family side sad situation if you know anyone that's lost a mother or a father or any family members period it's a difficult difficult time and a lot of questions and heightened situations and family members are going through things they're feeling things what happened how is she feeling did she mention anything there's a lot that go on and then you're also trying to decide what to do how to do it and finalize everything. I think in the news media, people were trying to say, which I don't think that's true. Some of the media sources were trying to say, Chloe's down there to try and finalize the services. Excuse me, I don't think that's true. I think Tristan's family side is probably so strong bonded that they don't need her assistance. Now, mind you, the K's and the J's put him on the show. And they put him on the show and did not paint him that good of a light. They didn't. It's almost like, okay, okay, he cheated. And then mind you, she just did a video with, what's that one lady's name? Martha Stewart. Oh, my child's father. We're not together. He had a baby by somebody else. Excuse me? You knew. I kept saying this. You know this dude wanted to be single. It did not seem like they were in a committed mon monogamous relationship. It seems like they were just dating, having fun. Because when you think about the women in the family, the K's and the J's, same situation with Chloe and Tristan. Him getting called out year after year after year after year. And as a mother seeing that, that's not easy. Period. Then you have Kylie that has two children. Beautiful. All their children are beautiful. But these girls are not in monogamous, committed relationships. It's a constant cheating, cheating, cheating. This is going on. That's going on. So you have Tristan and Chloe in regards to alleged cheating. You have Travis and Kylie alleged cheating. Now, Courtney used to have concerns but she wouldn't go she wasn't gonna put up with that with scott and then you have kim and kanye just recently divorced and then you have they, they make comments about kendall all alleged i don't know what's going on with that situation i don't know but then you the biggest thing is healthy safe relationships did they turn her away and send her back or is it that she had to rush back to be with her daughter because children are still in school? She has two children now. And mind you, it's not like she brought the kids to travel with so that way they could be together as a family. Now he's still there. She comes back by herself. Questionable. But everybody's saying how they painted him, what was going on, how they talked about him, you know, how... Um, Kim was like, I can't believe it. Oh, you shouldn't ha you you shouldn't do the transfer. And I it, mind you, Chloe and Tristan had been 
talking about surrogacy for a while. I think she was having a difficult time finding someone because she's so picky and, and, and opinionated. You know, and I think she ended up going with maybe um, Kim's surrogate. Maybe. I don't know. All comments are alleged regarding that, but fair use. But the biggest thing is how they painted him had not, it couldn't have been easy. Now, this is the other thing I was going to say. I only saw that the mother made a statement in con in regards to condolences. I don't, I don't recall Tristan saying anything. And everybody was like, why is Chris saying something prior to Tristan even saying something? And then they were like, why hasn't Kim came out and said something? Kylie broke up with Travis. Why hasn't Kylie came out and said something? Why hasn't Kendall came out and said something? Why hasn't Corey came out and said something? Why hasn't Ka Scott said something? You know what I'm saying? So everybody's questioning what's going on. Why aren't they saying anything? Because I think there's a slight division on what was going on, how they painted him. Okay, this is what's going on. Dot dot dot. You know, I want I want to be engaged, but I want to be proud about it. Huh? <laughs> How can you be proud about a man constantly every year allegedly cheating? This person, that person, the person on a boat, walking into the hotel, flirting with your um sister's best friend, and Kylie and Jordan are not friends still. And the biggest thing is Tristan had that party, and like I said, Chloe wasn't invited. Tristan was on that boat. Chloe wasn't on that boat. Tristan was walking into the hotel. Chloe wasn't walking into the hotel. C Tristan went over to what? What city was that? When he was with that one girl holding her hand. Chloe wasn't there. When he goes out and does think Chloe's not there. So I don't understand. But this is the biggest thing. I'm going to show this picture because I think Kim was there to welcome her back home. Kim didn't go with her. It was looked like it was only Tristan and Chloe that left uh, three or four days ago. So, and of course, Kim is probably bringing her home. But then this is Chloe getting off the actual jet. But well wishes. Having someone pass, very sensitive time for the family. Maybe she felt a little uncomfortable. It was, it's different. You know, you have to remember that... Their family has said so much, done so much. It was kind of like he wanted to be single. He wanted to be a single guy. It's okay to date, but just let him be. And I told you, guys love it when girls get mad at other girls. No, you have to blame the guy and just say, dude, I'm going to let you go so you could do you. I'm going to do me. But I think she holds on to Tristan because I don't think she can maybe allegedly find somebody else. That's the concerning part because you figure... It hasn't been that she's dated anybody for a year outside of him. Concerning. But prior to him, the the media was saying stuff. And it was sad. I'm not going to repeat none of that. Because it's not to embarrass, not to shame. But there were so many reports on men just saying stuff. And just her not connecting with anybody. And it's a sad thing. And then people are saying, um, she's trying to use a medical reason of why she's staying a lot of people get, a lot of people call out the K's and the J's to try and paint this false narrative, what they feel is true. But like I said, they love media attention. They love media manipulation. They love to get validated and people just aren't feeling them. It's the downfall. And the sad part is if he was who she wanted him to be, she probably could comfort and she probably should be down there for the two weeks to assist and help and guide but it's, and maybe, and maybe they're all gonna, you know, cause they watch everybody's videos. Maybe as a family, they're going to all go down there and support. But it's interesting when they all sent well wishes to other people that passed last year. We haven't heard anything really about Tristan and his mom. So that's interesting. And Chris was the only one. And then people were saying something about, you know, I'll go into that a different video, but well wishes. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Don't forget to like, to comment, and subscribe. The sad thing about it is Scott's lost his mom. Kanye lost his mom. Tristan now lost his mom. So that's Courtney's grandmother's past. Kanye mother has passed. Well, Scott's mother, but Courtney's the grandmother to the children. Kanye, the grandmother to his children. And then Tristan. 
the grandmother to his children. It's a sad situation. What's really going on? That's something a lot of people aren't talking about. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Don't forget to like, to comment, and also subscribe and hit the notification bell. And everyone, focus on healthy, safe relationships. Be around people that's loving, kind, and supportive. We send love and support and condolence to Tristan. But what's really going on with him and Chloe? People are trying to say they're back together. And then some are saying, no, they're not. They're just trying to support each other, in which they should. But the K's and the J's did not paint him that great of a light. And for a mom, that has to be difficult to see her son being talked about. And maybe all he wanted was to be single and just date her and just be a father to the children. Tristan now has four kids. Will all the baby moms attend the service to support and love on him we'll see thanks for tuning in focus on healthy safe relationships and be strong in mind body soul and spirit